Hi guys! This is your teacher Malu Abispo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification para updated kayo sa susunod nating written works at performance tasks. At kung may tanong kayo, just comment down below. Good morning, Grade 10, Grade 10 Macedonia, Moab, and Nazareth. For today's lesson, it was entitled Preparing Egg Dishes, and this is the part one. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to have gained the following competencies. One, identify the tools, equipment, utensils, and other paraphernalia needed in the preparation. Number two, identify the equipment and utensils that may require cleaning and sanitizing. Number three, select various types of chemicals for cleaning and sanitizing tools and equipment and paraphernalia. Number four, use cleaning tools, equipment, and paraphernalia in accordance to standard operating procedures. And of course, the last one, is to identify an egg's component and its nutritive value. These are the following tools, utensils, and equipment needed in egg preparation. These are very important because it will make your cooking comfortable and convenient. Moving on, egg cuddler. It is a porcelain or pottery cup with a lid that is used to prepare a dish called Cuddled eggs. Cuddled eggs are soft cooked eggs similar to poached egg. Egg beater is a small rotary beater used to beat and whip cream. An egg cooker is a device that features niches where eggs are placed and water. Once closed, the device reaches a set temperature and maintains it for the desired time. The fourth one is what we call egg cup or egg server. It is a container used to serve boiled eggs within their shells. Now we have egg pillar. It is a pair of tongs that ensures a shell less preparation and it is also used to peel hard boiled eggs faster. Egg piercer is a kitchen tool with a sharp pin used to poke a tiny hole in the large end of the egg to prevent it from cracking during boiling. An egg poacher is a piece of cookware to poach or steam the eggs, while an egg ring is a round metal ring, approximately one centimeter high and it is used when cooking eggs to prevent them from spreading across the cooking surface. An egg separator is a tool used to separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. And an egg slicer is a dish, a slotted dish used to hold the egg in place with a hinge plate of wires to slice peeled hard-boiled eggs quickly and evenly. An egg timer is, simple, is simply a timing device that measures the cooking time allotted when boiling an egg. An egg wedger is a tongue-like device with a cradle on one arm to hold a hard-boiled egg and crisscross of wires on the other side to slice an egg in perfect wedges when squeezed together. A crepe pan is an 8 to 10 inches diameter flat bottom pan with a short side walls used to make crepes, pancakes, blinis, or tortillas. While an omelette pan is a heavy base frying pan made of cast iron or copper with rounded sloping sides used exclusively for omelette and it is cleaned with absorbent paper afterwards. Now, let's move on to the structure of an egg. An egg 
is generally composed of only two main parts. We have the white and the yolk. Remember, whole eggs are used as mainly components of our breakfast dishes. And they can be prepared by scrambling, poaching, frying, baking, or in custards. In baked goods, whole eggs are used as glaze and to add nourishment, flavor, and color. So these are the different parts of an egg. We have the egg, egg white, inner and outer membrane. We have the yolk, germinal disc, yolk, caliziferous albumin, calize, air shell, and we have the cuticle or the bloom. So when we say shell, this is the outer covering of the egg. It protects the contents from damage and contamination. The egg white surrounds the egg in four different layers. We have the thin outer white, we have the thick outer white, we have the thinner inner white and the thick inner white. So meron tayong thick na outer and inner, meron tayong thin na inner and outer. We also have the inner and outer shell membrane. The two membranes are partly made of keratin that surrounds the egg whites and provide an efficient defense against bacterial invasion. The yolk membrane is a clear casing enclosing the egg yolk. The germinal disc, on the other hand, is a small, circular, white spot on the surface of the yolk where the sperm enters the egg. The yolk is a major source of vitamins, minerals, and almost half of the protein, and all of the fat and cholesterol. The yolk contains less water and more protein than white. It has some fat and most of the vitamins and minerals of the egg, including the iron, vitamin A, vitamin D, phosphorus, calcium, thiamine, and riboflavin. The yolk is the source of lecithin. It is an effective emulsifier. Its color ranges from very light yellow to a deep orange. According to the feed and the breed of the hen, the yolk contains the food that will nourish the embryo as it grows. So we have the caliziferous albumen. This is a dense, matted, fibrous capsule of albumen around the membrane of the yolk. Calize is a spiral rope like strands twisted in opposite directions and keep the yolks, keeps the yolk centered. The more prominent the calize, the fresher the egg. And then we have the air cell. It is an air space forms when the egg, when the content of an egg cools and contracts after it is laid. This usually rests between the outer and the inner membrane of the egg's larger end. And as the egg ages, moisture and carbon dioxide live through the pores of the shell and the air enters to replacing them, making the air cell larger. So we also have the cuticle. What is that? Cuticle or bloom is the outer coating coating produced by the shell glands or the uterus of the obiduct acting as barrier to keep bacteria from entering the egg. All right? Are you learning? I hope you are. These are the nutritional value and components of an egg. Eggs are very rich in nutrients and they have significant amounts of protein, vitamins, and mineral. And they are relatively low in saturated fat content. Eggs are used as thickening agent or paired with milk to create sauces. So it contains protein, vitamins, minerals, and of course, the fat. So when we say uh, nutritional facts, we have uh, the following nutritive value for every one large raw egg, approximately 50 grams. The total fat is around 
uh, 8%. And then we have the saturated fat. We have the cholesterol, sodium. Of course, it contains vitamin A, calcium, and iron. Okay, this is your teacher Malu Obispo saying thank you for listening and may God bless us all. Thank <laughs> you.